Hey there, Sheepdoggers, and welcome to Sheepdog's unfair review of Dead State. It's early access, and the early access is the first seven days. Uh, we're only going to do the first day, really. Um, I don't really feel like I need to go too far into it. I've played it through a couple of times. Uh, I've streamed it a couple of times, and it's an interesting game. It's kind of... Uh, the, the kind of strategy, tactics style of it will put you in mind of XCOM. Um, there are other aspects to it, but that, that's kind of a good start. And uh, and yeah, let's, let's just get going. This is the intro. To be honest, uh, I can explain it like this. You're a plane crash survivor. You wake up with a whole load of other people unaware of what's going on. It's a zombie apocalypse. And you're in a school where the kind of there are a few survivors who are either holding out for rescue or just still in the area, basically. So I'm not going to go too much through it. Uh, you you get uh, choices of um, of of conversation, all really different. I have no idea how much uh, how different it it actually is. Uh, the other thing you get is, uh, there you go, a whole load of survival things. Um, and it's always the same characters. I don't know if it's going to be like this in the final game. If all the characters will be the same, you know, all the time starting off. But it does give this kind of like, uh, it's a bit of a pain in the arse, uh, you know, replaying the beginning bit. Because it's the same thing every time. Uh, da, 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 here we go. It's just me being like, oh, it's typical like zombie apocalypse stuff, you know, like, oh, I can't believe it's the end of the world. Yes, it is the end of the world. Oh my god, what are we gonna do? And then it's like survive, basically. Uh, and basically, we have to go and do a little, uh, do a little running about and and everything. And here you have the shelter storage, like all the things you store in, in the shelter, basically. It's very, very, fairly simple. Uh, and these bits, these parts are used to kind of repair and everything. Then you've got the rations, the food. And the thing is, is we'll go over it in a second, actually. Yeah, the food kind of gets absorbed, so you don't see what food's left, what... There, there, there's a certain, there's a certain feeling in this. You know, you've got all these like toothbrush, and it's a luxury item, promotes morale and the food. But when you come back, okay, let's let's do that. When you come back, you can see. I think it's the letter C. Yeah, there you go, C. There's the character, and you got perks. I think when you actually start it up, you'll be able to choose a bit more what you have, and then inventory. Um, and then goals, not in, not in including this release. Shelter, you can see morale, uh, food, uh, like kind of canned food and that, uh, fresh food, building like parts maybe something like that, uh, medicine and fuel, and you got the idle survivors, working survivors, scavenging party, uh, guards, fence, shelter activities. So while you go out on these missions. Um, there we go. While, while you go out on these missions, you can set jobs for other people over here at the job board. There you go. Yeah. Uh, so you can... <clears throat> you have people, if their morale gets too low, I guess, they're uncooperative. Uh, you've got, uh, like, this girl's in the party. This one can do maintenance. This guy can... To chemist or ma machinist, um, either either one. He doesn't really need to be doing any of it though, because yeah. Um, <clears throat> and there's just like it's not bad. It's it's not kind of it's not a terrible terrible game. Uh, the problem is is you feel very uninvolved at times. Uh, you, f you, f you feel like they've taken, you know, you feel like there's areas where they were kind of, e either either where things aren't finished or where they just haven't 
put in what they wanted because they haven't had the time. Oh, that's right, we need a weapon. Uh, crowbar, unfortunately, and we'll have the there you go, medic bag and everything. Um, so I was worried that if you got hit, you'd become a zombie. Uh, you know, like kind of like if you got bitten, that's you as a zombie, and and that's all, all done and dusted, and and you're screwed. Uh, um, uh, luckily, not unfortunately, luckily that isn't the case. Um, you can take damage, you can get downed, and you can still get saved. I've run into a few weird bugs. Uh, one of my one of my uh, guys got killed by a zombie, came back, and then was an invisible zombie who I couldn't target, which was interesting. Uh, understood. So on this one, basic attack. On this one, our objective is to is to destroy the... Uh, uh, destroy? Where did that come from? No. We just have to loot. Uh, we need some fuel and we need some parts and just everything like that. And you see it turns into turn-based and uh, you can see the turn order here as well. And basically you just have to... Wait, what? Trauma. Oh yeah, there we go. Trauma. And you've got different types of attacks for different damage and different everything. Uh, sometimes they have loot as well. Let's uh, oh, let's go in the hardware. Oh wait, is that the place we're supposed to be going in? Yeah, no, we'll wait. We'll wait for that. Uh, it's easier to do everything else first. Okay. Let's reload this and set active and move him to here. And move him to here. So you've got uh, a little up here, you've got a little decibel level that tells you how loud everything is and, and everything like that. And uh, I brought the doctor with me. Bollocks. Okay, well, move her back a bit. I don't particularly want her getting hurt. Move him up to there and wait. And then the zombies will come to us. Probably take a few shots at uh, at the cop or at uh, myself, Brian Double Bear. Uh, yeah, but dodge though. Dodge is, dodge is great. Dodge is fine. <coughs> and yeah, you know, you can see it's how how I mean. It's like uh, it's like XCOM. You know, you've got the aspect of uh, of turn based and and everything like that. It just, it feels so less, I don't know, it, it, it is, uh, okay, she's dead, yeah, she's dead, so shoot him, uh, her, let's try and kill him, we have killed him, just in case I need to heal uh, Brian, but hopefully, there we go. Okay, so that's a pretty decent round, because now we can end the turn, and and there you are, all done. Uh, but yeah, the problem, the problem, the problem really becomes uh, the kind of the the shared uh, the kind of the 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 way the in, in uh, the the oh, bloody hell. The way the inventory works is just a little weird, and when you come back to the base with food, like regardless of what it is and 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 so on and so forth, when you come to when you come back to the base with food, it just but I attacked him, yeah, sometimes it doesn't make sense like it there's no there's no tutorial telling you how things work either, you know it's uh. It just kind of, it just kind of sticks you in there. And no! Oh, fuck's sake. And yeah, stuff like that can happen where it's just like, uh, okay, so... Cheers. You just, you just hit one of my... Why would I want to hit my ally? Like, there, there's, there's a difference between, like... There's a difference between, yeah, okay, and what the fuck... So yeah, I, I smacked her for a whole load of damage. 
the problem is it doesn't make any bloody sense. Like, why why would you smack her? You know, she's on your side. There's no earthly reason just because it's kind of just because it's kind of part of the game doesn't mean you should just do it anyway, you know? Like, it's just it's just a weird bit of added difficulty if you're stupid. Uh, and then again, you know, I've KO'd this guy, but I can't do anything aside from just kill him anyway. I guess I could leave him possibly, but again, that makes... I don't know. It's, uh, oh, for God's sake. Uh, yeah, it's just, it doesn't feel particularly... I'm gonna have to swap with her. So, Brian, Renee, give him this. Keep those. Keep those. Sorry. Actually, yeah, keep those. That's, that's good. Uh, and the baseball bat is a slightly better weapon than is the, uh, the crowbar. Uh, and yeah, you just have to kind of go around uh, in the most, in, for the most part, just go around and, uh, and, what are you, oh, for God's sake, oh, doors over here, okay. Uh, yeah, you just have to go around, do some looting, do some killing, it's, see, it's kind of, it, it, it is the essence of kind of zombie survival, you know, what you'd expect, basically, which is great, but at the same time, it, it's very limited, and it might just be because it is the first seven days and it's in early access and they haven't added everything yet. Ooh, silverware. Yeah, just take all. Uh, it might be because of these things, but it, yeah, it, it feels very kind of just like, uh, well, is that really it? I mean, you know, I can't, s I, it's difficult to see what they're going to add to the game. You know, it, it, it kind of feels like, like, like this is the game and the kind of the first, you know, the, the early access part of it is like going to be smaller stuff, basically, you know, kind of. And I'm not sure that this gives you enough, you know, this gives you enough, really, just in general. Um, the, the fact that the f you know my my replays of this game you know i mean if if brian this guy here dies then that's it basically um there we go yeah if brian dies that's it and i have to start again i haven't finished the first 7 days yet and i'm already feeling you know when i when i kind of start off uh, I'm already. I already start feeling like, oh my god, I've got to go through all the, all the beginning bit again and the same, you know, the same goddamn areas again. Like that's just a giant pain in the ass. Um, so yeah, you know, I'm just, I'm starting to feel like that already, and you know, I've, I haven't played it that much. There doesn't seem to me be as much kind of replayability as such. You know, it's not quite as as re. Oh god's sake. Uh, back there. Yeah. And yeah, you know, like, you can get ambushed like this, but sometimes it just doesn't make any sense. I mean, you know, that that guy just, like, walked out, walk, walked out, clearly am, clearly ambushed me, but I got the, uh, I got the drop on him for whatever reason, and, uh, and yeah, I got the drop on him, and I, I can, I, I kicked his ass, basically. What well, one hit, and he's dead, and it's just like, there's other instances where you where you uh, where you sneak up on them and they get the first hit hit in on you and it just yeah it just feels I'm I'm still not saying it's a bad game it, I'm just saying it feels kind of really really in need of more work and I because I've been checking this game out because I've been kind of following this game for quite a while. You know, it's been it's been in uh, in in the making for quite a long time, you know, and I've been I've been waiting for it to get uh, I've been waiting for it to kind of get released or early access or what whatever. No, 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 no. I just broke the door open. Um, so it does make me wonder, you know, how much they can do through through early access. You know, how long 
it's going to be an early access just purely because you know it's kind of yeah and you'll see what i mean i mean okay so you see we've got this jerky got rotten out rotten fruit we've got sham jam you know drinks and and protein bars and a few of them have other stuff as well so we've done our we've done our run of of, of looting and uh, we we'll go back to the shelter we can also go around search for new uh, locations and stuff but they're always the same you know like that that thing's always there so once you've played through it once Unless they're change, unless they're changing that, you know, so that it will be randomized locations, um, it it does have this feeling of like it's not really replayable, and yet the idea is you die and you try and beat it again. You know, all the zombies are in exactly the same place, um, all the all the places to loot are in the same place. You can revisit an area. And I think possibly scavenge it again. But the point is, if you've been somewhere and taken everything, why is there stuff still there? You know? Um, so, <clears throat> the idea is great. And I really want to like the game. And I'm not saying I dislike it. I'm just... As, as this is, you know... I mean, this is an unfair review. So I could just go like, I enjoy this game. You know, even though it gets annoying replaying it, I enjoy this game. Kind of thing. But... At the end of the day, this this is, even though it's an unfair review, it's still a review. You know, I still want to tell you my impressions, what I think for the future, and everything like that. And it just doesn't feel like it's done what it's set out to. You know, it feels, even 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 as an early access, you know, there are, unless unless this is like a placeholder, and they're actually bringing kind of like a really not different game but a really revamped game you know they, they this is this is like an early thing they've put out just to tie people over so they get an idea of the combat and stuff um if you have to start exactly this with exactly the same characters exact exactly the same locations to meet all the locations are in the same bit it's gonna get really really just n not worth it to start again and the fact that if this guy dies, or if your party dies, or whatever, you have to start all over again, and go through the same intro, and talk to the same people, and say the exact same goddamn things. You know, there, I, I, I would say this game does not have a long life. You know, it won't last you that long. And you also won't, you know, you'll, you'll, what will happen is, you'll get bored of it before you kind of finish it, as it were. That's the point. You know, it will it will bore you to the point where you can't play it anymore before you finish it, I would imagine. So that that's uh that's basically how I feel. Let's finish this bit off. Um we've been keeping supplies in the back room near the basement. If you have parts for the fence, uh, uh I think I could use some sleep. Um so yeah, you sleep and that passes a day and uh, Let's just go and chuck this stuff in the storage. So yeah, you can see now all of my food items have gone. I've got these, but that's because they cure fatigue. Um, and you can look at the shelter, and now we have canned food and fresh food and, and hammer bits. And the thing is, is this doesn't explain what much of anything does. I feel a little bit like it is just kind of uh, giving you the info, really. You know, it's just, it's just showing you the basics of the combat and... Sorry, I had to sneeze. Um, it's just giving you the basics of the combat and the, the very basics of how to survive. And what I really do hope is that they're holding back aspects of the game. You know, that I don't... I'm hoping that they're not... This isn't, you know, this isn't all of the features and there's just more game, you know, like that, That I don't want that to be the early access, I don't want it to be like, yeah, this is all of the features we've got basically, we'll add a, we'll add a couple in which we haven't finished yet, but for the most part, there you are, um, and we want Davis on building, no, no repairing the fence, uh, and we'll put Joel on repairing the fence, and Renee on repairing the fence, and Brian Double Bear on repairing the fence, 
and we'll repair the fence. Um, so yeah, that yeah, that's what I don't want. What I don't want is for them to basically be like, yeah, no, there's not much to this game, uh, and and it's it's just kind of the 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 bare gameplay mechanics that is is here at the moment. Okay, <clears throat> I had to sneeze again, again. Um, okay, so you can see the food gained, the fresh food improvements, storage, food storage, food consumed by allies, eat light eaters, prisoners, blah blah blah. Uh, morale bonuses, luxury items, and etc. etc. And morale penalties. Allies with good mood two minus two. I don't get it. You know, like content minus six. So you lose morale even if they're in a good mood. I mean, disgruntled, fence broken, and yeah, so it does. It doesn't explain these things. You know, if if you have mechanics like this that aren't entirely clear, you need to explain exactly how the mechanics work so that you can, you know, because like if you were actually in this situation, it would be a lot more kind of like, uh, okay, so that guy's a bit more sad, you know. So if you're doing a game like this where you've got morale. Um, and the certain things affect morale and etc etc uh, you can either say so and so has got more sad and you're like okay they're more sad you know I can I can talk to them I can say how can I make you happier but if you've got like minus one for certain things and minus two for certain things you have to explain how that works otherwise it's just like it's just confusing you know do one or the other you can't kind of do a an in between where you have the minus po minus points and you're like minus two for happy people, mm. but why? Huh. So yeah, uh, yeah, and then people are pissed off and you have to you have to handle people as well. To be honest, I haven't seen much of that. There hasn't been much of handling people so far. So maybe that's kind of as time goes on. But uh, there we go. Yeah, um, <clears throat> so there you go. I'm not going to do any more because I don't, uh, like, there's a radio here and you can see there's, like, other places. You've got lockers, you've got basketball court, and you've got the fence, which needs to be repaired. Um, also, the, the, you know, when you're just, like, you get stuck on the side of the, on the side of the map, as it were. And the maps aren't that giant. Maybe that's something else that will change. Apparently, the fence is broken. It'd be interesting to find out where exactly. Uh, another thing is this. You know, when you're out, when your character's outside, you could, like say outside of a building, you can't see in the damn building. This this is an oversight because you could be here staring in, yet you can't see it. Like literally, I'm I'm as zoomed as in as I can, and I can't see it. And even if I was standing here. All I can do is just kind of, you know, try and see through. So they need to sort that out as well, because when you're out, when you're out here, it's a pain in the ass getting back in the school. And also, when you go into like a, for example, a church later on, I, I break into a church. Lots of zombies in there. I have to kind of tactically place my camera, trying to get the right shot if I want to, if I want to fire into there or move into there. So yeah, that's uh, that's my unfair review of this. And basically, in conclusion, I'm going to actually recommend whether or not to buy a game to you guys for once. I'm going to say don't get it yet. It's early access. There's still a lot of time and a lot of you could, you know, have patience. If you're interested in in this game, seriously, have patience and wait. There is no point in buying this game right now. It's the first 7 days and <clears throat> If you if you play it right now, you'll probably have a little bit of fun and then get get a little worried about where this game is going. And it's much better for you to wait until the full game's out and you can actually just go, okay, I like the look of this. I've seen a few videos. It seems decent enough for me and I'll, <clears throat> and I'll get it. So yeah, wait, seriously. That is that is for once my actual opinion on an unfair review is wait so thanks for watching guys i hope this helped i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one